Hi everyone, back here again for another video. In most of my videos, I mentioned that I use only my iPad for all my personal work and YouTube work. I really enjoy using the iPad because it's such a beautiful device. It's very portable and packed with great functionalities and apps. So today, I'm giving you guys an update on how I use my iPad not only as a laptop but also as a desktop replacement. And the main reason how I can do this is because of the all-new Shift Screen 4X app. I'm excited to show you guys how much this has improved and I want to know if you guys agree with me. But first, let me give you a quick look on my iPad and desk setup. My desk is actually just a makeshift desk. I say makeshift because this is in fact my dining table that I've converted to my desk. I have been thinking many times to get a proper desk, but my place is quite small that I don't want to have too much stuff in it. So I decided that this big dining table will work for now. I light up my desk with this IKEA lamp, which I use every day when working, but it also serves as my main light when I make my YouTube videos. This has adjustable arms and dimmable lights and also comes with both the warm and soft daylight options. I also use the other lamps I have around my house, also from IKEA, to add some warm lights when I make these YouTube videos. I don't want to buy a lot of YouTube gears, so I try to utilize what I already have here at home. I find ways to use it for my YouTube videos and use it in my daily work. But of course, for my keyboards and mice, I have a lot because I love it and, and also so I can make many videos for you guys. And today I'm using the magic mouse and the magic keyboard just because it looks nice and clean on the desk. Maybe in the future I can make another iPad desk setup video with my other keyboards and mice. You guys tell me if you want that kind of video. As for the monitor, I got this BenQ 27 inch monitor. The bigger the better for me so I can see everything well because I have poor eyesight. Again, this is dual purpose because I use this every day at work and I use it for my YouTube videos too, just like this. So for you guys out there thinking of starting a YouTube channel, you can do it. Just use whatever you have at home. Next, my iPad stand is the Lenshin iPad standing dock that also comes with the different ports or hubs. Lenshin sent this over a couple of months ago and I'm really enjoying using this dock. It obviously connects my iPad to my monitor through the HDMI port and it also charges the iPad. And all this are possible by just connecting the Lenshin hub to the USB-C port of the iPad. So if I need to do a lot of work like now, I can use a bigger screen and also won't run out of battery. And if I want to use my Apple Pencil to write on the iPad or sketch something or journal on GoodNotes, I can easily take it out of the dock without really disconnecting it to the monitor. Then I can easily also put it back on the stand when I want to start typing again. With this setup, it makes it quite convenient for me to be productive, do a lot of work, and to do multitasking on my iPad. And this is a good transition to the new Shift Screen 4X app, which is now all new and improved with more features that help me take my iPad multitasking up a notch. So let's see what is new in Shift Screen 4X. So Shift Screen 4X, is it promising or disappointing? For me, I would say it is promising. Why? Because now I can do my work with less friction compared to the old version. So. Here are some of my favorite new features. Let's talk about first the windows. I can now open several windows. Well, six windows to be exact. And why is this exciting? Well, it's because the new look now gives us a desktop-like feel. And the big enhancement here is that the windows can now be adjusted 
again like how we do it in a computer. In the old shift screen it was fixed to either full size window or those fixed lengthwise uh, sizes which is really kind of weird but with the 4x I can now resize the windows at any size I like by dragging the corners of the windows. I can also drag from the top of the window and it will resize it but this is my last choice to adjust the windows. Dragging the corners is much more easier. There is another way to resize the windows which I'm really happy about and that is through the all new keyboard shortcuts. But before we get to that, one more thing. In a window, I can open many tabs and I mean many tabs. Now let's go to one of my favorite new features. Because if you've been here on my channel, you already know I am big on using keyboard shortcuts. I love using shortcuts, of course, when I'm typing. And now with the iPad OS 15, I can use keyboard shortcuts to go around my iPad. And now we have it here in shift screen. And what is cool is that the developer made the keyboard shortcuts customizable so you can create your own key combinations. I didn't change any yet, so here are some of my favorite shortcuts. To open a new window is to do Command and N. And similar to Safari, I can also do Command and L to go to the URL bar or the search bar to type in a URL or something to search. Then inside a window, to open a new tab is by Command and T. To switch tabs within a window, use Command, Shift and arrow left and right. And I've mentioned already earlier that you can open as many tabs in a window. Next shortcut to move between windows is to do the shortcut option and the tab key. Next, to adjust the windows, there are quite a few options here. First, you can drag the top of the window and then it will automatically adjust the window size for you. But for me, I prefer to drag the corners of the windows so I get the exact size that I want. Another way to adjust the windows is to use the launch pad options. And now we have the shortcut, command, shift, and spacebar to quickly go to the launch pad. Then you'll have these options at the top right corner where you see different ways to adjust and resize the windows. But my favorite way to adjust the size of the windows is by using the keyboard shortcuts. So first, to make the window in full screen, use the shortcut command caps lock and number one. Then to put a screen or a window on the left side, use command caps lock and number three. And to put a screen on the right side, use command caps lock and number four. One tip here, remember the shortcut to switch tabs is the command shift and the left and right arrow keys. Sometimes this won't work when you are in editing or typing mode. And let's say here I'm in craft and I cannot move between tabs if my cursor is on. So I have to hit escape or click somewhere outside to turn off the cursor and then I can do the shortcut. I think this is because when typing, it's the same iPad uh, default shortcut, the command shift and left and right is for highlighting a line. And that's what's happening here. So just keep that in mind. Another enhancement is on YouTube using the desktop site. Now there is the picture in picture mode, so it can play on top of the other windows. So it means I can watch while I use all the other tabs and windows that I have open. I can move the picture in picture anywhere I, and I can also resize it, but I have to use the touch screen. Another enhancement and one thing that the developer mentioned is that the monitor display is now supporting 60 Hertz. And I think if I'm doing this right and I check it in my monitor display settings, it does say it is on 60 Hertz. But if you think I'm doing this wrong and I'm not checking it the right way, let me know. Leave me in the comment section down below how to do it right. 
One thing I really like now is that my usual typing shortcuts now work because it wasn't working in the previous shift screen app. So like the usual copy paste cut and also the option and delete key to delete the previous word or command shift and left and right to highlight a line or command and delete to delete a line all work. So this does not disrupt my workflow since again, I use a lot of these keyboard shortcuts, especially when I'm typing. What I'm looking forward to is to use craft in shift screen since I've been using craft for all my YouTube preparation and scripting and research um, for quite some time now. And I'm happy to see that it now works. And how do I do it is I click on this gear icon on the URL bar and click on request mobile site, then it works. However, not everything I need work, like the drag and drop of pictures still don't work. And again, this could be a limitation of the web app and not necessarily on shift screen. And copying URL is also now working. Um, this was not possible before in the old shift screen. There are other more features, but the last one I'd like to mention is that PDF annotation is now available. I can do the launchpad shortcut by command shift and spacebar, then choose this PDF icon. It will open the files folder in the iPad screen, and then you can choose the PDF file. We can now highlight, underline, strike through text, all this annotation options, simple ones only. Still, it seems to be a bit buggy, I think, as it's quite hard to highlight text and I can't seem to find a way to remove the highlight. Anyway, the developer said other files can be opened, but that's in the future releases. So let's see and check it out next time. Oh, and now we also have a calculator built in shift screen. Maybe it's interesting for some, but for me, I will still continue to use the calculator on my iPad because I cannot use the keyboard to press on the numbers. So I have to use the mouse or the touchpad to do it. What may be interesting for some is that Google Meet works on shift screen too. Uh, though personally for me, I don't really use it. I just did a quick test here and looks like it is working, but I really cannot say much about this. Just take note that again, this is the web app and not the downloadable app. So it is Google Meets running on web browser. So that is shift screen and that is my iPad desktop setup. So stay tuned for more videos. And if you guys have some questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to reply. So that's it. Thanks for watching.